Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to today's vlog. Today's video is all about how to get look. Today's video is all about how to get it look like this in your bedroom. So basically, how to turn your bedroom into a studio. I had to set up on a tripod and got the Sony A7 III. Got the Sony A7 III right here, Tamron 28 to 75 lens on top. Just got a shotgun mic. I didn't really feel like setting up the whole big mic. Uh, got a uh, LED light panel. It's a bicolor one, but it just turned up all the way. Going through some diffusion. This makes the light look a lot softer. Uh, I can break that down in another video. But anyways, just it gives a professional look to it when the light is nice and soft. And then down here, we just put a monitor. I have a monitor running from the camera. So as you can see right there, nice. The background is this light's just bouncing white. It's just at full power, bouncing straight off this wall, which bounces into the camera. So the camera picks it up really bright. To you, your eye, when you look at it yourself, it looks kind of crappy. There's a bunch of stuff on the walls. But to the camera, if you dial in the settings right and turn up the ISO a bit, it looks pretty much perfectly white. Basically, that's the setup. That's how you get the look. Let me know if you want more lighting breakdowns like this. And I'm sorry, I promised you guys to show you the edit I made for my client that was filmed 100% on the DJI Osmo Pocket, but I'm actually gonna be putting out and making a whole, uh, tomorrow's vlog will actually be focused all about that. Whether or whether or not you can use the DJI Pocket Osmo, Osmo Pocket, whatever one you wanna call it, for professional use and client work. There's a couple downsides to filming with it that I need to work around, and I'll break those all out in the next video. So be sure to watch that if you plan on getting the DJI Osmo Pocket or already have the DJI Pocket Osmo. Osmo Pocket. Anyways, thank you guys so much for your support and thanks for keep coming back and watching these videos. We are gonna be at vlog eight or nine. I don't even know anymore, but we're just gonna keep them going. 30 day vlog challenge is almost one third over. Pretty wild. So glad I did it. Shout out to Scott McKenna again for the challenge. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be sure to hustle hard and never forget to enjoy the journey and have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Subscribe to my channel at Chitty Space Gains. The link will be in the bio. Check me out. I'm the one who set up all this lighting and stuff. So.